Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. My name is Muhammad Fadli bin Fazil. I'm from OUM Alustar. My course is Bachelor Medical and Health Science with Honors. Today, I would like to present my case study, COPD. What is COPD mean? It's a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease secondary to pneumonia. So, for the course, we, uh, for the clinical practice trauma and emergency care in hospital, okay, kita jam for my clinical posting lah. Okay, this is my outline. We have introduction, presentation of the case. In the presentation of the case, we have demographic data, general history, assessment findings, management patient care, and then the last is a conclusion. Okay, firstly, what is COPD? COPD is a condition in which the lungs became permanently altered. The airways in the lungs are constantly narrow. Chronic inflammation creates difficult of breathing. Okay, so this is uh, anatomy of the lungs. Okay, what COPD does do? COPD causes, causes airway narrowing, inflammation and mucus production. So we can see the healthy bronchioles and apple like that. And, and, the, the, and then this is a thick narrow bronchial with uh, excess mucus. So, maksudnya bronchus tu dah penuh dengan mucus. Destruction of alveolar wall. Then alveolar wall there dah destruct. Okay, what is the cause of COPD? COPD result from smoking. Orang yang banyak merokok akan mendapat COPD. COPD result from second hand smoke. The second hand smoke pun selalu yang hidup asap uh, rokok boleh dapat COPD. COPD result from air pollution, pencemaran udara. COPD result from occupational irritants. Habuk-habuk macam tu. Eh? Okay. So, the pneumonia. Pneumonia is an acute infection of the lungs. Possible cause but the most common are bacterial and virus. If people have viral pneumonia, they also are at risk of getting bacterial pneumonia. Okay, five main cause of pneumonia is bacteria, virus, mycoplasma, fungus, including pneumocytes, various chemicals. Okay, sign and symptom. Uh, orang yang ada pneumonia, dia akan chest pain when you breathe or cough, confusion or change in mental awareness in elder age, 65 and older. Cough which may... Cough which may produce phlegm, fatigue, fever, the demam, eh? sweating and shaking chills, lower than normal body temperatures in adult, older than age 65 and people with weak immune system, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, shortness of breath. Okay, this is uh, my demographic data. I will call the patient name is Mr. A. Okay. I see the 7307050754465. The Mia RN Hospital Kip Tajama. Uh, sex there, male, age 47 years. Race India, religion Hindu. Martial status, they are Daka Wena, married. Occupational, Kajana, lorry driver. Social history, activity, daily living, independent. Working as a lorry driver, active smoker, non alcoholic. No history of using drugs or taking traditional medication. Not allergic to any medication. Okay, this is a family history and family health history. Mr. A is the second from five siblings. His father has diabetic and hypertension. The mother has no known medical illness. His first brother has bronchial asthma since childhood. The other sibling has no medical or surgical ill history. No medical or surgical ill history for family members. Okay, they have past medical history. They are IHD, unstable angina since 2016. Uh, they are on treatment at Klinik Sehatan Bandar Tasik Mutiara, Simpang Pak, Pulau Pinang. On MDI, brodol to puff when necessary. Frequent visit to casualty for nebulizer around 2 to 3 months on. 2 to 3 months on, they will go to the hospital to get the nebulizer. Patient is a chronic smoker. Seorang yang perkuat yang tegak lah. Mr. A admit at red zone. Due to present with worsening SOB since two days ago. Which not relieved by MDI. 
Kara Indonesia, Kara Izona. Okay, assessment. According to assistant medical officer at the scene, dia uh, panggilan pada pada buat panggilan untuk ambulans panggilan kecemasan. No any hazardous material was seen, and the victim was there, lying on bed with semi folders. One of the victims, Mr. A wife, tells the name of victim that having shortness of breath and unable to breathe spontaneously, having cough and fever. Initial assessment was done to get general impression of the patient. Check his mental status or level of consciousness by assess their level of responsiveness, ABPU. Mr. A was open her eyes when his name was called. Okay, dia talk to three words dipsnya sebab dia penat kan dia cakap pun dia tak berapa ni lah dipsnya The Glasgow Common Scale is 14 over 15 Pass oximetry show oxygen level is 88% SPO2 dia dah low sikit Oxygen face mask was given MA2 dah bagi face mask untuk oxygen supply The respiration are 33 per minute Dia punya pernafasan dekat laju belas the blood pressure is 140 over 90. In the in the ambulance, the ongoing assessment was done to detect any of abnormalities of patient condition. Okay, management of the patient. Okay, at the trash, patient was assessing like general condition, airway, breathing, and circulation. Okay, patient confused and restless. But response to call. Look, take it now. Talk in words. GCS the full skit lah. Lepas kita bagi oksigen dan GCS the 15 over 15. Difficulty for breathing. Use accessory muscle for breathing. Chief complaints is shortness of breath. So according to the case, Mr. A was immediately sent to red zone for, for further treatment. Okay, in red zone, vital sign was checked. Blood pressure high. 160 over 90 His pulse is 110 per minute Temperature is 38 Ada demam sikit And SPO2 was 93% Under 5 liter face mask oxygen Having fever No chest pain No palpitation No perfuse Sweating No nausea vomiting No skin couple attack No sinusis No autopnea No bilateral Lowering swelling And no diarrhea was seen Okay, the physical examination Dah bagai dia I inspect the punya mata the eyes, inspect the color and pupils, inspect around the eyes. There was no pale in color. Mouth inspect the color, lips dry, the mirror mulut kering sikit lah. And look pale and mild bluish due to reduced oxygen level in concentration. Nampak uh, bluish sikit sebab kurang oxygen. Nose, nasal flaring. Tongue white in color and dry, no central sinusis of tongue. Inspection for determine anemic and sinusis symptom. Okay, the neck to found enlarge or lymph nodes and look for distant jugular veins. Extremities look at fingers for cigarette tar stains and clubbing of fingernails. Inspection of lower extremities for detect peripheral edema. Lower limb edema can cause by propamodulate. Skin look dry and pale. Okay, at 9 5 minute am, seen by medical officer. In ED department, nebulizers tabutamol, intravenous hydrocot 200mg and intravenous aminophylline. Okay, that's that medication lah dekat uh, uh, red zone, ED department. Change to oxygen to high flow mass, 10 liter per minute to maintain airway pattern. And then the uh, blood investigation such as uh, atrial blood tests, ABD, full blood count, renal profile and liver function test are taken. Okay, ni dia punya investigation Chest X-ray dia nampak uh, hyper, hyper inflated Hyper inflated lungs ECG dia Show sinus tachycardia Nampak tachycardia No acute ischemic changes Blood investigation dia okay, PH dia 7.25 Partial carbon dioxide 48 Partial oxygen 78 Acute by cup is a uh, uh, 21 base excess is negative 6.5 oxygen saturation is 94 
regarding uh, uh, the minyak ABG determine uh, degree and severity of disease process most often, often PO2 is decreased and PACO2 is increased pH so acidotic, mild respiratory acidosis to COED the minyak renal profile result from uh, probe.com you can dapat white blood cell uh, increase sikit liver function test there ok at uh, 9.40 am all the investigation result was re reviewed by medical officer chest x-ray shows hyperinflated lungs and ECG shows sinus tachycardia no acute ischemic changes ABG show acidotic the finding is Mr. Ha Mr. A having COPD secondary to pneumonia at 9.42 a.m. ordered by medical officers to start nebulizer sabotamol hourly and nebulizer combivalent for hourly and IV hydrocot hydrocot 100 mg TDS ED medical officer refer Mr. A to chest medical officer dan refer kat chest to review for continued treatment and management in what? 10.15 a.m. seen by chest medical officer order to start continuous intravenous infusion amplify 35 mg per hour at 11.50 a.m. his wife his was sent to medical ward with oxygen face mask and close monitoring vital sign via cardiac monitoring accompanied by AMO, AMO and PPK casualty okay be the identification of diagnosis and intervention for patient. Kita ada infective away clearance. Number two, impact gas exchange. Number three, unintended weight loss. In later stage. Number four, risk for infection. Number five, knowledge, knowledge deficit. Ineffective airway clearance. The diagnosis there. Ineffective airway clearance related to increased production of secretions and decreased energy ataupun fatigue dia punya emergency intervention auscultation breath sound of Mr. A lungs not adventitious breath sound with uh, seperti whiz, crackles, ronkai rationalist some degree of bronchospasm is present with obstruction in airway and may or may not be manifest in adventitious breath some, some such as scattered moist crackle bronchitis faint sound with expiratory wheeze emphysema or absent breath sound severe asthma number two is uh, impaired gas exchange diagnosis impaired gas exchange related to altered oxygen supply obstruction of airways by secretion air trapping Emergency intervention, assess and record a spray rate that not use of not use of accessory muscle, post lip breathing, inability to speak or converse by Mr. A. Rational, useful in evaluating the degree of respiratory distress or chronicity of the disease process. Okay, unintended weight loss in later stage. Okay, diagnosis, nutrition imbalance less than body requirements may be related to dyspnea, sputum production, medication side effects like anorexia, nausea, vomiting, fatigue. Okay, so dia punya emergency intervention dia, auscultate bowel sound. Bila kita auscultate bowel sound, sound dia punya rationale dia adalah diminish or hypoactive bowel sound may reflect decreased gastric motility and constipation this is a common complication related to limited fluid intake per food choice decreased activity and hypoxemia uh, okay then this is yang uh, seterusnya the risk of risk for infection okay emergency intervention untuk elak uh, infection, monitor temperature for hourly for Mr. A Dia punya rational, fever may present because of infection or dehydration 
Okay, number two, dia punya rational dia Observe color, character, order of sputum Rational dia Orders, yellow or greenish secretion Suggest the present of pulmonary infection Okay, last kali dia punya diagnosis dia Knowledge deficit May related to lack of information And familiarity with information resource Information means mean misinterpretation, lack of recall, cognitive limitation. Emergency intervention, uh, explain and reinforce explanation of individual disease process, encourage Mr. A to ask question. Rational, decrease the anxiety and can lead to improve participation in treatment plan. Okay, discuss individual factors that may trigger or aggravate condition. Excessively dry air, wind, wind uh, environmental temperature, extremes, pol pollen, tobacco smoke, aerosol sprays, air pollution. Encourage Mr. A to explore ways to control this factor in and around the home and work setting. Okay, so the pneumonia rational, these environmental factors can induce or aggravate bronchial irritation, leading to increased secretion production and airway blockage. Okay, so the conclusion is, it can be concluded that this case study is about the patient Mr. A that had COPD. Based on the above explanation, me myself have present about managing this patient at the trash and how to take care of this patient at the emergency department. Mr. A was bring to emergency department by ambulance and admitted to red zone due to shortness of breath. Initial assessment, all blood investigation, chest x-ray and vital sign that were done for Mr. A shows having COPD and need immediate treatment for stabilize his condition. After medication and oxygen therapy was given as ordered by medical officer, uh, his condition improved and reduced of symptom. General condition of Mr. A was stable. Blood pressure is 130 over 70. Pulse rate 100 per minute and SpO2 increased uh, 97% under 5 liter oxygen. Face mask when transferred to what? So all the data has been taken and treatment was done for Mr. A in ED, helping him to cure from illness as soon as possible. Okay, this, um, this is my presentation for case study. Okay, terima kasih.